Hello, everyone, and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's kiki, which is Queen Ariana breaking her silence on the Tom Sandoval and Raquel sex video and cheating affair scandal, you know, I love the quote, what doesn't kill me better run. Yes, girl. Yes, queen. We are here for all of it. She's also living her best life, looking great in Mexico for a friend's wedding. And also we're getting more details on her sandwich shop with Katie. But before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. It's free. It's free. It's free. And you get a lot of self-care and self-love. So with that, let's dive right on in. So let's start with Ariana's statement, okay? So this is according to People Magazine. It says, Ariana Maddox breaks silence on Tom Sandoval and Raquel Levis's affair. What doesn't kill me, better run. The Vanderpump Rules star wrote that her friends and fans have given me the strength to continue and seen me through my darkest hours. Ariana is speaking out for the first time since her ex Tom and their Vanderpump Rules co-star Raquel both apologized for a months-long affair that ended her nine-year relationship. Ariana shared her candid thoughts via Instagram late Wednesday night, writing, Hi, where to begin? I want to express my most sincere gratitude for the outpouring of love and support I have received from friends, family, and people I've never even met in the last two weeks. She continued, when I have felt like I couldn't even stand, you all have given me the strength to continue and seen me through my darkest hours. To say that I have been devastated and broken is an understatement. However, she added, I know that I am not in, in this alone. So many of my closest friends are also grieving the loss right now and reeling from this betrayal on so many levels. I am so effing lucky to have the best support system in the world, and I hope I can repay every single person for the love you have shown me. She concluded, what doesn't kill me, better run. Love, Ariana. Mm, yes, girl, yes. I am with you on that one. Ariana discovered Sandoval had been cheating on her with Raquel on March 1st when she saw inappropriate messages between the two on his phone while he was performing with his band, Tom and the Most Extras in Los Angeles. She was completely blindsided by this. Devastated doesn't even scratch the surface of how she feels, a source told people days after the discovery. This is someone she thought she knew, someone she planned to spend the rest of her life with. You can't even put into words that betrayal. Okay, let's stop for a second. Now, this is the thing. I believe she really is going through it. You know, even though to us, we it was pretty obvious that their relationship was unhealthy, that they, you know there wasn't any romantic love in the relationship there had rumor there had been rumors about an open relationship and i think those rumors stem from the fact that tom had been cheating on her you know i'm not even talking about the affair with raquel it's been pretty i'll say alleged you know there have been allegations and there have been other women and other rumors that tom had been you know dipping it and doing it with other women you know while he was in a relationship with her. This is the thing. Do I think that Ariana knew something was wrong in her relationship? Yes, she said it on the show. They, you know, they weren't spending any time together. They barely saw each other. They had stopped having sex. But also on the show, she seemed hopeful. Like, oh, now that the restaurant is open, maybe we can start seeing each other more. Now maybe we can start having more sexy time. So I think that she knew she had problems in her relationship, but I also think she thought that they could work through them and get the relationship back on track. Where I think Tom Sandoval had already been checked out for a very long time. I think he was dipping it and doing it with other people. And I think that he was carrying on a very long-term sexual affair with Raquel, you know? 
So I feel really bad for her. You know, I don't I do think she was blindsided because denial is a very strong, very strong coping mechanism. So you can know things are wrong, but your mind doesn't really want to see it. Your mind doesn't want to accept it. You know, you want to stay in denial because you want to keep yourself safe. You don't want to have to really admit, hey, everything points to the fact that my boyfriend of nine years, who I share a house with, who I share businesses with, is cheating on me. You know, denial is very, very strong. So I feel really bad. And then on top of that, it's not just that he cheated. It's who he cheated with. Then it's with Raquel, some, someone that you've been rocking with for years, someone that you've known for years, someone that you consider a friend, someone that you've welcomed your home to, someone that you've been there for, that you've supported through. So not only is he cheating, but he's also cheating with one of your really good friends. So that's an added layer of being humiliated, of being, you know, embarrassed. But then it's not just that. It's just not that you've cheated. It's not just who you cheated with. Now it's how you cheated. On top of all of that, how you cheated. You know, wearing the matching necklaces that allegedly meant I love you, you know, the lightning bolts. Having Raquel wear the Tom Tom sweatshirt to BravoCon, gifting it to Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live. You know, having your best friend Tom Shorts pretend to be in a flirtatious romantic relationship with her to cover up your lie at the expense of your other best friend, Katie, right? Who just literally got divorced from this man. Having the allegations that Tom Sandoval and Raquel had sex while Ariana was in the same house under the same roof in her home. You know, we can't forget about that where Raquel was sleeping over in the guest room and Ariana caught him coming out of her room in the middle of the night. And allegedly he was like, oh, I was getting her water. Like, what? Does that make sense? Again, denial. Denial is a hell of a drug. <laughs> you know, you want to literally somebody is in your face coming out of somebody's room in the middle of the night. But you still want to believe nothing's going on? Okay. It's denial, though. It's, it's still denial is very strong. Also saying that when Ariana was out of town for her grandmother's funeral, that Tom had Raquel in the house and they were having sex then. Than the house when she's grieving the loss of her grandmother, not to mention the Coachella, you know, oh, uh, Raquel spotted making out with Tom. Turns out it's probably Tom Sandoval. You know, they're all loved up at Coachella. And then don't to, and to add insult to injury, we can't forget about Halloween. Tom Sandoval literally dressing up as his mistress, dressing up as the side chick for Halloween. And those are the only the things that we know about. So it's just not that he cheated. People cheat. Okay, whatever. Then he then it's who he cheated with, her really good friend and somebody in the circle group, you know, grinning in the face. And then it's how he cheated. So I think all of that is what makes this situation as explosive as it's been, right? So, you know, team Ariana, team Ariana, but let's keep going. Sandoval copped to the allegations on March 7th, posting an apology post to, to Maddox to his Instagram page. It was the Swartz and Sandy's co-owner's second apology in four days. The first mea culpa did not make any mention of Maddox. And I think the only reason why he did the second one was because he got so much backlash. Okay? He said, I want to first and foremost apologize to everyone I've hurt through this process. He began later on Tuesday. Most of all, I want to apologize to Ariana. I made mistakes. I was selfish and made reckless decisions that hurt somebody I love. No one deserves to feel that pain so traumatically and publicly. He continued, I can only imagine how devastating this has been for her and everyone around us. I feel really horrible about that. My biggest regret is that I dishonored Ariana. I never meant to disappoint so many people, including our loving family and friends. Tom, stop lying. Boy, bye. It, too little, too late. Too little, too late and way too dry. <laughs> way too dry, okay? Boy, miss me with all of this. Miss me with all of it. Miss me with all of it. All right, but let's move on to also how, you know, Ariana is continuing to live her best life after all of this. And let's highlight the fact that, you know, something about her, her sandwich shop with Katie Maloney is on and popping and on and popping. 
And also, um, you know, let's celebrate the good stuff. Let's celebrate the good stuff. So this is according to Reality Blurb. It says, see Ariana Maddox and Katie Maloney's new sandwich shop's location as they launch online store with something about her merch amid scandal. That's right. You better make a profit. You better make a buck. You better turn this lemon into lemonade. So the lo- so the, lo- the location, sorry guys, the location of Ariana Maddox and Katie Maloney's new sandwich shop has finally been revealed. Amid the shocking drama of Tom Sandoval's affair with Raquel, the Vanderpump Rules star has reportedly nailed down a Los Angeles location for their restaurant, something about her, on North Robertson Boulevard in West Hollywood. This is around the area where a pump is. So that's a really good, smart location. The U.S. Sun shared the news with readers on March 10th, revealing that the sandwich shop is just a few for, a few doors down from the bar of their exes. Sandoval and Tom Short's Tom Tom and a few steps away from Lisa Vanderpump's Sir Restaurant Pump. According to the report, the venue, which was formerly the home of Headley's Restaurant, boasts of around 740 Uh, square feet and has a small patio area out front although the reported 80 grand per month rent was not confirmed the listing on the space revealed it could cost two hundred and fifty thousand dollars to transfer the lease and all furniture and equipment that came with it they've begun leasing it and paying rent an insider shared it's still good it's still in good standing while ariana and katie have secured the restaurant space as their own it appears to be currently empty well that makes sense they're probably trying to get everything together Months after Lala Kent and Christina Kelly attended a celebration for something about her that was filmed for Pump Rules, the signage has allegedly been taken down. There's a ladder, a fridge, and a countertop, but other than that, there's not much activity going on and eyewitness shared. There are no tables or chairs set up. It's pretty empty. As Pump Rules fans await the opening of the new restaurant, Ariana and Katie have updated their Instagram page with a new graphic, which features a knife, parts of a sandwich, and flowers on a pink background. Ariana and Katie filed for their LLC back in July of 2021, and now, as she continues to reel in the Sandoval Raquel's shocking betrayal, an insider tells a son that Ariana is completely focused on opening something about her. As she should be. Just as their new space's location was confirmed, Ariana and Katie launched their online store, which features an array of t-shirts, hats, and phone cases, all which retail for under 50 bucks. So go ahead and shop the Something About Her merch and support our girls. Uh, Support the girls. On a recent episode of Pump Rules, Ariana opened up about the process of opening a restaurant. What I've learned the most about watching Tom and Tom go through the process of opening Shorts and Sandies is not to jump into it without having everything laid out and prepared ahead of time. The other thing I learned is don't use your own money. So thanks for being the the guinea pig, guys. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Get investors. Don't use your own money. So, yes, she is living her best life. I'm excited about something about her. I hope they open soon and we can all go get our cute little sandwiches and post and support and also support their something about her merch as well. And let me know what you guys think. What do you think about her uh, response? I thought it was great. You know, I thought she thanked everyone, her family, her friends. She thanks us, the fans, for holding her down. And I got to tell you, I'm going to use that line. What doesn't kill me, better run. So with that, you guys, I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. What do you think about the whole situation? And, you know, what do you think about them, you know, finally getting more close to opening up the sandwich shop and also with Ariana living her best life. She's looking great at her friend's wedding in Mexico. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out our description box down below and join our newsletter. You get free self-care and self-love content. So with that, you guys, I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.